My geometry, so just a little video if you're absent, need a refresher, talking about volume. So let's get to it. Okay, so one thing to try on your own is, oh, just a plain old box. We call it a rectangular prism. How do you find the volume? Which a lot of us have grown up learning this kind of a thing. Volume is length times width times height which certainly works. The reason we stick away from that a little bit is it's not generic. That only works for rectangular prisms. It will not work for a triangular prism or a pentagonal prism or an octagonal prism. It only works for boxes, like square type boxes. But if this, you're trying this one, you're certainly free to go, okay, volume is length 21 times width 10 times height 14. Just punch it all in a calculator and I get 2,940 inches cubed. I have to use cubic inches because in three dimensions to actually fill this thing up, I got to use little cubes, it's not squares or straight lines. It's an actual little cube to fill up a volume. Okay, the thing we like to use for prisms is this formula. Volume is base times height, where this B is the actual area of the base. So that would be the actual entire bottom of my prism. So the idea is if I can find the bottom of my prism, the base, so whether it's a square or a circle or a triangle, if I just take that and multiply by how tall it is, that should be the whole volume. This is just thinking of that idea last week, taking a shape and stacking it up. If I find the shape and then multiply by how tall my stack is, that should be the volume of my shape. So what's nice is this can work for triangular prisms. So let's say here's a triangular prism. If I can find this area of the base, I'm just going to multiply by the height. Boom, there's my volume. Can this work for round prisms? Sure. If I find the area of this circle at the bottom and multiply by the height, boom, there's my volume of that prism. Which this round prism just has a special name. It's a cylinder. All right, so here's a prism here. I'm going to use my volume as base times the height. So the base, size of the base, is 9 by 4. Then the height is 6. And if I just multiply it all together, 9 times 4 times 6 is 216 cubic feet. All right, excellent. What if, ooh, here's a triangular prism. So it's a prism, it's just kind of laid down on its side. So I'm still going to use my volume as base times height. The height's going to be our five. And I just need to figure out what is the base for this thing. So the base, oh, that's my actual triangles on the end. So if I can find the size of that triangle, I'm going to multiply by five. That's like how big my stack of triangles is. That should be the volume. So for a triangle, you can always find the area is base times height divided by 2. So for us, it would be 3 times 1.5 divided by 2, which is 2.25. Then 2.25 times 5 is 11.25 cubic centimeters. So just kind of a one-off here. For cubic centimeters, there's another shorthand for that called CC. So we don't do this for any of the other ones, like cubic meters or cubic inches. We don't write CI. But for cubic centimeters, you can write it CC because it's just a very common one that comes up in medicine. So if they're like, oh, we need to give this patient 100 CCs of whatever medicine. Oh, yeah, that's cubic centimeters comes up in cars all the time talking about engines if there's a dirt bike and it says the engine is 250 cc's that means the volume of the engine is 250 cubic centimeters so if you want to write cm cube for centimeters cube that's fine or you can write cc's for cubic centimeters all right another type of prism what if i have a round prism oh that's just a cylinder so i'm still using my prism formula the only difference is do I know the base? I do. Since on a cylinder the base is always a circle, I can just replace that with pi r squared. So I'm still just finding the base, which is a circle, multiply by the height. 
So for a cylinder, all this stuff today is just kind of plug and chug. Volume is pi r squared height. My radius is 2.5. My height is 7. I'll just type that into my handy dandy calculator. And I get a volume of 137.44 inches cubed. Okay, excellent. How about a pyramid? What is a pyramid? So the idea is, let me think about a prism for a minute. Here's a prism. Its volume is just base times height. Well, now I'm going to chop this prism up into a pyramid. So I'm going to kind of mark a middle point on the top and just slice, slice, slice it up into a pyramid. Well, let's see. Do I still have the same base down here? I do. Do I still have the same height? Yep. But the volume is certainly less because I chopped off a bunch of stuff. So my volume for a pyramid is one-third base times height. Now what's nice is this, this will still work for any base. Triangular base, square, rectangle base, hexagon base, pentagon base, circle base, whatever. So let's just try a couple and feel free to pause. Try this by yourself. So the volume of a pyramid is one-third base times height. What do I know? I know the height is eight inches. I just need to find what is my base. Hmm. So I need the entire size of this base of the pyramid. Well, it's a square, so its size is just six by six. So I'm gonna type in one third times six times six times eight, and that should be the volume of this pyramid. Which is 96 cubic inches. Excellent. What about, ooh. Hmm. Kind of a weird looking pyramid here. This is actually a pentagonal pyramid. Because what's different? The base is not a square anymore. It's a pentagon. It's got five sides. Well, thankfully, I can still use my volume as one third base times height. Do I know the height? Yep, it's five. Do I know the base? It's actually given to me as 27 here. So I'll just type that all into a calculator, click, 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 and I get 45 cubic centimeters. I like it. What about the final type of pyramid, the round pyramid, AKA cone? So I still use the same equation for a pyramid, it's just for a cone, I know that this base is always, always, always a circle, so I can replace that b with pi r squared. So that's where this equation for a cone comes from. Well, let's give one a whirl. So volume of a cone is one-third pi r squared height. Well, let's see. Do I know my radius? Yes, radius of my circle is three. Now my h may be a little tougher because I've got a couple numbers here, four and five. So the height, that's if I ask you how tall is the cone, we're gonna say four. This five is used for something else, it's called the slanted height, or slant height. But it's not used for volume. So we just type in one third times pi, times three squared, times four, and our volume for this particular cone is about 37.7 cubic centimeters. Excellent. Hopefully that was helpful. Have a fantastic day if you're not able to come to class in person, and I will see you next time. Bye.